What's going on, y'all? I want to show you a very powerful feature in Studio One called Track Transform. Uh, what this does is it allows you to take all your plugins on a track and it bounces it down to a new file and remove those plugins from the track. Uh, this is very powerful because it allows you to save CPU uh, if you've got a lot of plugins going. And um, let's say you had a lot of plugins on some drums and you're, you don't want to tweak that anymore, you're fine with that. You can use Track Transform to bounce that down to where you still have the sound of the plugins on the track and you're able to free up some CPU. Uh, this also works with uh, hardware and the uh, pipeline plugin. Uh, when I mix, I use a, a hybrid of analog gear and plugins. Uh, with the track transform, I'm able to take my analog gear and use it on multiple tracks because I can, say, put a compressor on one track, use track transform to bounce that to a new track, and then I can free that up to put that compressor on another track. Uh, it's also good if you have effects um, that you want to uh, that you want to record, like um, say a reverb, for example. Well, for this example here, I've got a uh, a vocal. It's the same vocal I used in the chorus video, and I've got uh, the Elysia music cue on it. And as you can see, I got the demo, and I've only got one day left on it. So let's say I wanted to capture the sound of this. EQ while I still have it available as a demo. So I'm going to play the vocal, uh, then I'm going to add in the EQ so you can hear what it's doing to it. Um, and then I'll transform it so you can see how that works. Put your name on it, better claim all this. Show me your intentions, better all your chips on it, better all your chips on me, better all your chips on me. Show me your intentions, better all your chips on me. And with the EQ? Put your name on it, better claim all this. Show me your intentions, better all your chips on it, better all your chips on me, better all your chips on me. Show me your intentions, better all your chips on me. So to use a track transform, we would uh, select the event, track, transform, transform to rendered audio. And we're going to have some options here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. So while that's bouncing down, uh, I was going to say that uh, I love the way Studio One does this because in Pro Tools, when I do this, I would have to create an aux track and send the track to an aux track to a new audio track and record that. Uh, it's just a few steps. And uh, with Studio One, you see this is done very, very quickly and easily. Uh, so now I will say that if you're using hardware when you're doing this, it will transform it in real time because it's, uh, it's going through analog gear. Of course, a plug-in is going to do it offline. Oh, so now we've got the new file here, and uh, as you can see, it removed uh, the plugin for me. So it's already taking a step in removing the plugin uh, to free up CPU. Uh, let's listen to the file. Put your name on it, better claim all this. Show me your intentions, better all your chips on it, better all your chips on me, better all your chips on me. Show me your intentions, better all your chips on me. So as you can hear, that was the EQ'd uh, version. So, and if I undo, I can easily get back to where I was. Uh, you can see we've got the plug-in back on the track now. And uh, if I go back to transform it, once it's done, you can see there's no more plug-in on the track because it removed it. Uh, you can also use Track Transform for um, for MIDI and um, some other things, but this is my favorite way uh, to use the Track Transform feature. And uh, one more thing, if you're going to use this, I strongly suggest that uh, you, before you do, you go to your event and duplicate the event, uh, duplicate with events, uh, so you have a copy of it, and then take the copy that you just made and transform that one. Uh, that way you can always get back to what you had originally. Or you can always go back and listen to what you had originally uh, because you know during mixing you can get far along into something and all of a sudden it's not sounding good to you anymore and you want to go back to what you had before. Uh, so that's how you can do that. All right, catch y'all next time.